Oh, jeez. 42k. Oh, what? Deals on Aurea, so now he's gonna horse me. Yo, what's up, guys? Surf right here, and today we are hanging out with the Charlottes. So, Little Queen Charlotte just got buffed like uh, two days ago, and Swamp Charlotte got buffed. Well, she got reworked probably a few months ago. So, we're gonna take them both into Guild War, and we're gonna show them that size doesn't matter. Unless you're talking about your sword. Alright, this is my little Queen Charlotte. She's got 3.4k attack. She's got some tanky stats due to her high base stats. Super freaking slow. 97% crit chance. 343 crit damage. She's on destruction crit set and portrait of saviors. Her S3 is maxed and her S2 icon reminds me of All Might from My Hero Academia. Those little things right here, her crown, totally remind me of his uh weird hair things. So, I don't know, every time I look at it, that's all I see, man. Alright, this is my Swamp Charlotte, 3.3k attack, decent tank stats, 142 speed, she does not need crit chance because of how her S1 and S3 work, uh, 318 crit damage, she's on speed immunity, she's also on Portrait of Saviors just because, uh, typically I think I would want her on Helag Lance, but I am really actually unsure on what would work best for her. She doesn't have many skill ups just because I never used her before, uh, so she's got 3 in her S1, that's it. Alright, there's our guild war up against Zenovia. Looks like we've done a little bit of work already. So we'll go in and uh, we'll see what we can find. Alright, so this is the first fight. We got Oxlots, Little Queen Charlotte, and RB in the first team. Oxlots should just be able to push LQC and she's going to blow up Ken. And then RB should be able to clean up the rest. Second fight, we got Swamp Charlotte, Rowana, and ML Crow. So the reason I brought Rowana and ML Crow is because Charlotte is not going to be able to kill SSB very efficiently. Therefore, her AoE is going to keep procking SSB's S2, which will keep pushing me up, healing me, and resetting Crow's S3. And then eventually, we'll be able to take them all down. It should not be an issue. Can you handle this? Oh wow, okay, that's pretty fast, Lilias. Oxlots ain't the fastest, but still, jeez. Alright, let's push her up. I'm going to soul burn this, just in case. I don't know in case what, because if I don't kill ML Ken, I think he will end up just straight up killing her. But we can't risk it, so let's go. Oh, that kills for sure. <laughs> ah, 5k damage to them. So her S3 was buffed so that if you attack a dark unit, it will do additional damage to the other characters around them. Um, you do not need to kill. As long as it's a dark unit, it will proc the extra damage. The extra damage does not care how much damage you initially do. It only cares about how much attack you have, much like Sez. Except Sez needs to kill, Charlotte does not. Let's attack into her. Good damage though. They did buff her damage on her S1, I'm pretty sure. Jeez, Harvey almost died already. That's crap damage, alright. <laughs> alright, that's probably not a good idea. Double proc again, alright. And they're all dead. Oh, no, don't kill Ox Lots. I needed them. Um, dang it. Guess we'll do this. We'll get some immunity up. It kind of sucks that now, when my Charlotte moves, he's going to hit into that skill modifier. And that's pretty good damage. <laughs> my Charlotte's kind of squishy. Don't crit on her, please. Of course you do. Okay, we gotta get this up just in case. Yeah, she'll hit into her. And the SSB should push everybody up. Unless Charles just kills me right here. Brett, okay. I'm fire, dude. Please. Okay, this better not crit on Charlotte. Well, I guess it will. She's fire. Dang it. Don't die, though. Let's do this again. So he already has his S3 up, because SSB. But now SSB might end up killing my Charlotte. Please don't, though. Dang it. Uh, that's not good at all. No, she doesn't have the res. Yeah, that's a good heal though. Um, let's see what this does. Such fighting spirit. There's some crap damage. Uh, pretty decent with no attack buff. All right. Okay, this SSB, please do not murder me. Oh, please live through this. 
Okay, he lived. Oh, jeez. Okay, get the heal and the shields. Come on, Lady of the Swamp. You gotta kill Charles. Alright. SSB. Don't kill anybody. Alright. Got healed up. She got defense break, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's provoked. Okay, Swamp Lady. You gotta kill him. Come on. Okay. That was kind of garbagey. Let's do this. Man. Alright, I think we should be okay. Unless she dies here. It's not too late, is it? Don't want to give up, but... I don't want her to die. Alright, this is the second fight in round one. Because Swamp Charlotte did not survive, I'm bringing in Landy. She also got buffed, and she's a freaking beast now. She will just nuke the crap out of you. Uh, at least in Arena, so we're gonna test her in Guild War and see what she can do. The reason I'm bringing Elena here instead of Rowana is because I assume this FCC is faster than my Landy and she will hit us. Therefore, Elena does have the chance to clear the skill nullifier before Landy moves. Alright, this is the second fight. We've got Tommy and Sarah with LQC. We're gonna blow up this dude and then we're gonna hope these two dudes don't kill us, which they might, and this might end up really bad, but whatever. Okay, this is a slow FCC. <laughs> Alright then. My landy's like 200 speed-ish, so there's no reason FCC should be that slow. Your FCC should be like 200 at least, like come on man. Now do I use my S3 then? Cause I don't think it's necessary at all. I can use it next turn? Yeah, let's do that. So let's uh, let's just hit into this person here. Oop. Elbrus right away, just kill me now. Jesus. She has full fighting spirit, so let's see what this can do. God, that damage, that damage is pretty disgusting, seeing as how it went through the barrier, a full barrier, and did that much freaking damage. Uh, let's just attack into Charles, get a little heal on Elena. This is going, do not defense break me, please. Oh my god, Elena's in trouble. Heal! Please heal more! <laughs> oh, don't kill me, Charles. She's so dead. Ah, gross. Oh, good counter, I guess. Oh, that didn't do anything, but I guess it got rid of the skill now fire. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. And Landy died. Jeebus! That did not work. But, you got to see the damage, it was pretty good. <laughs> okay, well, this is a fight that matters more, so let's do this. Defense break, nice. Are you ready? Let's go! This should do pretty sick damage. Oh, jeez. 42k. Oh, what? He was on Aurea, so now he's gonna horse me. Okay, goodbye, Tama. Let's get rid of her first. Do I get a hit? Nope. I suck. Ow. Okay, that's gonna be an issue. Hope she doesn't have her S3 up. Oh my god. Um. Okay, so you have to kill her this hit, or you're going to die. Didn't kill her! Don't die, don't die, don't die. Alright, Saria, this is up to you. Come on. Oh my god. Don't die on me. I did not expect that Orius to completely decimate Krau for him to horse me right away, so that kind of uh, messed things up a bit. <laughs> Alright, this is the last fight. For the first round, we're gonna bust out the newly buffed Cerise. we we'll land all the buffs because she doesn't care anymore. To prevent Lilius from cleansing all her stuff, we're just gonna blow the crap out of her with these two dudes. Second fight, Oxlots is dead. Tama's dead. Now the only pusher I have left is freaking Tywin. We're gonna bust out Flitica with her awesome new skin. She looks super sunder in this picture. Um, and then we're gonna use Tywin, we're gonna push up LQC, blow her up, and then hope we don't die again. So, let's go. Doki, look at this. Ignores element. Bam! Full things. <laughs> Take care of this lady. 
<laughs> Just to rub it in. I get to use the Cerise with her brand new thingy that makes dual attack. Except she's gonna heal when I dual attack. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, let's actually stun him up first. Her. Whatever. Let's do this. Slash slash. Now this. Bam. Ooh, and a defense break. Yeah, Miss Confile, I think, is the best artifact on her. Um, Unless you really want to go with Guiding Light. But because of that S1 with uh, the dual attack, if she is able to get the defense break on that, that is huge. Come on. I'm back now. So I can kill you again. Mm, yeah, let's do this again. Goodbye. Oh, let's get to dual attack. Bam. No counter. You're dead. Okay, yeah, check out the skin. I love it. Her skirt is see-through too, so that's pretty awesome. The strips. Yeah, let's push her up. She's so slow that I don't think she will ever move. Every other character will move before she does if I don't push her up. So, let's see what damage we can do on her. No defense break, but whatever. Oh, jeez. Wow. That is some pretty insane damage. Not gonna lie. <laughs> jeez, man. That much damage on an FCC. No defense break. Like, I'm gonna say that's kind of disgusting, but yeah. Jeez. Hey, stop that. You die. Die, 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 die. Ah. Eat it. Let's break. Take that. Ba, 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 ba. You're dead. Ha ha. Alright, so as you can see, I've added Cerise and Landy to the table. Fire Charlotte did not survive, so they had to pick up the slag for her. Well, Landy didn't survive either, so Cerise had to come and pick up the slag for her. LQC, however, was able to perform. Except for one. She did almost die in one of them, so I had to lose that fight. So I lost half my fights, which isn't really that good. Um, hopefully we still win the guild war, I guess. My thoughts on LQC is that she is a freaking monster. When she can get a hit in, she does so much freaking damage. As you saw, she was able to wipe every single person off the face of the earth with just her S3. Even FCC with an attack buff, she was able to just completely 100-0 her. When I 100-0 the Crozette with the defense break, pretty much almost killed a crowd with Aureus on, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. That is an insane amount of damage. And with the effect from her S3 that does additional damage to people around, that is it's a huge buff i think she's an insanely strong nuker now it's it's crazy swamp charlotte was buffed a while ago i never really used her i think she can work if you party around her i didn't take very good supports with her i thought what i had would have worked and it was almost working but charles charles so then I also busted out Landy, who, as you saw, does an insane amount of damage with her S3. In Arena, she really shines because they have way more buffs, and she has more supports around her to keep her alive. I didn't showcase that, but everyone's done it already, and it's it's pretty good. I've tried it out myself, and it's crazy. So Reese also got her buff. Her S3 no longer has elemental disadvantage, and her S1 has a dual attack attached to it, which is also freaking crazy. So these buffs they did this time around are just insane, which is pretty nice, Um, except for the buff they gave them maya i think that's okay maybe it makes her more usable i don't know i haven't tried it maybe i will we'll see but here are the stats to my landy and my cerise in case you're curious this is my landy she is on crit speed 3.6k attack 204 speed 99 percent crit chance 281 crit damage she is on her own artifact as well and her s3 is maxed all right, this is my Cerise, 272 speed, 101 effectiveness. That's really all that matters. She does not have my fastest set of gear because I don't use her really. I have my faster set of gear on Flitica because I use her for cleaves. I think she is still better because she has the push. Cerise does not have the push, so it kind of hurts her a bit, but she does have a very good strip and the rest of her kit is awesome. She will do very well in a control comp, I would assume, like if you brought her with three abyssal mages, that would be freaking crazy and I should try that. But that's also assuming that the person you're fighting against in RTA isn't going to ban Cerise. So good luck with that. <laughs> Alright, that is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quad showcase. It started as 2, ended up as 4, but whatever. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for hanging out with us, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.